I'm going to show you guys how to blend light skin tone using color pencils quick and easy. I've only mentioned this method once on my channel, uh, which is a big mistake because this method is incredibly good. You've seen my other video where I've done the layering and some people have pointed out that took me a long time just to get that small area and the amount of patience you would have to have to do a portrait that way is kind of off-putting. So this method can help substitute for that video. After watching this video, you should be able to achieve a light toned layer and be able to do it smoothly, but best of all, very quickly. This is my Polychromos pencils. They're very expensive. They're about $2.50 per pencil. So I'm gonna show you a demonstration of a soft layer using these. I've used this in my portraits quite a lot. I'll show you some examples. See this Paul Walker portrait in the hair? I use this method there. In the Rupert Grint portrait, I use this method on that as well. So essentially what you do is you go in, keep your pencil sharp, and you fill in the area. Because this is one of the biggest issues with drawing is getting a smooth layer. You can see how all the white of the paper is showing through. That's not good. It can make your drawings look really bad. For example, this Shane Dawson drawing, if I took out the lightest tone and left the white of the paper to show through, it instantly makes my drawing look off. It makes it look waxy and sunburnt. I don't know how to describe it, but it doesn't look right. Your goal right now is to get at least the smoothest layer that you can down. This shouldn't take long. Don't press too hard. I tried this method on printer paper. It kind of works, but not really well. So if you're testing this out on printer paper, you might find you'll fail. I'm going to be looking to see if I can find paper that's cheaper that you can do this particular method on. Now we've got that done. It's good enough, okay? It's really grainy. And you do not want that in your portraits. You do not want the white of the paper showing through unless it's a deliberate choice that you've made. Okay, cool. We've got that good down. I'm going to use this. It's a bound up piece of paper. That's all it is. It's called a tortillion to blend this in. What I do is small circles, small circles. It's pushing the color into the cracks and crevices of the paper. You can start to see it smooth out, right? Gentle pressure, very careful of not damaging the paper. Now, I've not tried this with wax-based pencils like the Prismacolor pencils or the Lumiant pencils. Uh, I will do that at some point. But this works best with oil-based pencils. So if you've got the Prisma color pencils or any kind of wax based pencils, be careful that it may not work out the way you hoped. Okay, it looks a little bit better. Not completely smooth. Sharpen my pencil again and go for a second layer. And this is why you want to make sure you don't press hard with the tortillion. If I did and flatten the tooth of the paper, I wouldn't be able to add this layer on. Make sure the end of your tortillion is fluffy. What I do is I press it like this and keep doing that. You can kind of see how it's fluffing. Uh, that's the best way I can describe it. You can do this many times as you like. Well, kind of depends on the paper that you have. If you have really crappy paper, then it's not gonna allow you to do many of these, if any. Now what you can do with a white pencil, I layer over it. This is the final step. Gentle pressure. There you go. It's very quick. That's how I create the very light toned 
skin areas. And I could keep going. I could keep adding more layers. That way I can keep making it darker and darker. As a demonstration, I think that that's good enough. If you want to make it a little bit more smoother, what you do is grab your pencil and fill in the white spots. Uh, what I'm doing now is I'm going through lightening the dark bumps, the dark little areas here. This helps create a little bit more smoothness. Now I'm going to show you an example of using cheap color pencils using the exact same method. These are called coincidentally fiber castells. So we'll be testing these ones. Oh, and did you notice? Notice the saturation difference between this pencil and the layered color pencil. How this is light and this is quite dark. This is one way of manipulating the saturation and the value of a color pencil. That is essentially a different color from the original. Here's an example of how the pencil actually looks if I applied pressure. You can clearly see that difference there. Uh, now I'm going to do a soft layer but using cheap color pencils over here. I always have a paper just here because sometimes sweat builds up under here and you don't want that on the paper there it can damage it I've never used these color pencils at all I don't know how they're gonna go what I'm doing is I'm using sandpaper to remove the color that I got on the tortillion when I was blending this area out If you're wondering what I'm thinking, I'm a little bit surprised how good that is. Wow. That, that wasn't bad. But then again, I am using quite expensive paper. You can do these multiple times, multiple layers. And the more layers that you do, and the more blending out you do with the tortillion, the smoother they will get. I'm using the side more and sort of do, doing circular motions with the tortillion though. Don't go like this. That That's really bad. You just build up color on each end as you each stroke like that. Uh, the downside is the pack of pencils that I'm using for this doesn't come with a white pencil. I'm going to have to use the Polychromos pencil, which is an expensive pencil. I'm actually quite surprised that the cheap pencils did so well. I can't tell the difference. That That's really good. Now on these ones here, I might save for another video. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. Have a good one.